Welcome back everyone to an audit tutorial. Today I want to demonstrate how you can make an easy teleporter for your game using some basic lightning effects, some particle effects and of course Playmaker to set it all up and make it work. So let's get right into it. So to start off I've set up this little scene. There's not so much to it but what I did in advance is make this kind of teleportation light or this location where you will teleport, which consists of two uh, 2D lights, which have a free form, um, and they both have an animation in which I only change the intensity over time. And I do this for the red and the white light, so you get kind of this light effect. I also made two particle systems, one which just emanates a little bit, uh, some small particles here, and they both have like a color over the lifetime which is similar to the teleporter. I also have this particle setup, which makes, let's say, this cone upwards of a little bit of bigger particles, which gives a general, uh, yeah, decent effect. It's not really high level. Um, you can make this playing around with it uh, like in 30 minutes. So let's set up the teleport system. So I'm first going to make a empty here. And of course, we want to zero out the transforms. And let's uh, check where we want to place the teleporter, which is, of course, on top of the lights here. And within, a, let's just call this teleporter. And within this object, I'm going to add uh, two empty objects. And I'm also just going to shift the lights, the teleport lights in here. Um, yes. So... We have the lights and let's call this the teleporter and I'm just call it, call it FSM. So in this one I have the state machine and I call this one the target. So the target as on where the player should teleport. And the target I will drag it up here because I want to teleport from here to this area. So within the teleporter FSM I need, of course, a collider. Um, I already searched for circle collider earlier, as always. You can also put a box collider or whichever you see fit. And I'm just going to leave it like that and make it a trigger. So let's add the FSM. The first thing we want to do is, of course, make a trigger state. It's the trigger 2D event is, I think, the most used <laughs> state um, when you use Playmaker. Collider attack should be player, and after the player collides with it, I want to finish. I'm going to add a state, and the first state is get target position. So I just want to get the position with the get position action, and I want to get the position of a game object which is the target, and I want to save it in a variable. And this, going, this is going to be a global variable. Um, I already have here a te teleport variable, but just for the sake of it, let me remake it. So you go here and you type teleport or whatever you want, a warp location. Um, I'm just gonna call it teleport. It's a factor tree. Factor tree is just like in the respawn tutorial is, uh, let's say, the position x, y, z. That's a factor tree. I'm going to add it as the teleport. Going to back to the state. So what I want to do is get the position of the target and save it in my global teleport um, variable. Great. Um, what I also want to do in this state is perhaps make the fade effect and the sound effect of the teleport. So let's first start with a fade, uh, a fade out, a camera fade out. And because the teleport is red, perhaps let's also make this red. And I want to make it a little bit transparent. And let's make it like two seconds. So you will have this effect that uh, the screen turns red and then you teleport. And afterwards we finish. I also want to add a sound play sound effect and the play sound effect is here on top I found some teleport warp sounds on the internet 
So I'm just going to play that. I'm going to make sure the volume is not too high, especially if you have music or any other sound effects in your, in your game. It's usually better to put the volume not so high. But play around with this uh, until it fits for you. After that, all finished. I'm just going to finish and then I'm going to add a other state. And this is the teleport state. And what I want to do is make fir first of all make the camera fade back in. So we had this red color earlier, I think like transparency 180. I'm just going to do the same here. And I'm just going to make it a little bit shorter. And then I'm also going to finish. But what I'm going to do before that is set position. And this time I'm not going to set the position of the owner. I'm going to set the position of the player character. It's going to drag it in. And as you guessed it, I'm just going to use the variable of teleport. And add a transition. Finish. So let's see if this actually works. I'm just going to leave this open so we can see what actually happens. Let's press play. And as you can see, the finite state machine is now waiting for me to enter. And once I enter, it turned the screen red. It played the sound. It was not very loud, I believe, the sound. Uh, I could crank up the volume a little bit. But I ended up in the right position. And he is waiting for me to use it again, which is great. What I can do now, of course, is just grab this teleporter. I'm just going to press here, Control-D, just going to drag it up. I want, let's say, a teleporter which comes back. I'm going to make sure to put it not on the target because then it would just teleport me to the next target again. And the next target is now probably up here. Yes, because I copied everything up. And let's put it back here, of course, in front of the teleporter. Now we have two teleporters in which we can just move back and forth. You can also, of course, put a cooldown uh, on your teleporter by giving it a weight effect. So that's pretty cool, I think. And I hope you can also use it in your game. So thank you for watching and see you next time. Cheers.